Hello everyone, glad to have you back. Today I want to talk about the post I saw on the F0 subreddit. It is this one asking what the most competitive viable F0 game would be and that post kind of stuck with me. I thought of replying to it but my reply got too long in my opinion and through a video I could show you all some more visual examples. So this is just going to be me talking about how I think a competitive F-Zero game would look like. First of all, we kind of have to consider what the original post meant with competitive. Technically, F-Zero is already quite competitive, if you consider how small the community is. Time Attack, especially in GX, has an active player base. The other games as well, GX is just the largest one. Runs are submitted every day, so there is already some kind of competitive feeling. What I think they meant is an online setting, so basically 30 players playing all at once. First of all, that would just be a crazy experience. Apart from Nintendo's amazing online service, 30 people racing at high speeds is just insane. But that's not important now, this is all just a theoretical example. Let's consider every game one by one. I'll put them in two categories, 2D and 3D games. Trust me, this is going to make more sense in a moment. I like the 2D F0 games, I really do, but they simply aren't true contenders in my opinion. Yes, they are great for what they are, but compared to X and GX, they are just too simple. I'm not saying a competitive 2D racing game can't exist, it's just a bit limiting in my eyes. Also, every game adds some more challenges. The original F0 is quite tame compared to the others. It isn't exactly balanced though, if there was online play it would quickly end up with everyone just using the fire stingray. Balancing is a big problem in F0 in general so you'll hear that word a lot in this video. BS F0 Grand Prix 1 and 2 kind of fall into the same category, I'm just mentioning them so no one says anything in the comments. Maximum velocity does a lot of things right, the tracks are generally better and most machines are semi balanced with the exception of the Chat Vermillion. I could technically see on the races based on maximum velocity if the Chat Vermillion is banned since the rest is kinda alright. I mean the JB Crystal would be a meme pick and I at least would result to the Silver Thunder since I think it would be the best if the Chat Vermillion isn't available. I also kinda like the one boost per lap mechanic, it adds a small amount of strategy to the game. Cheap Legend gets even closer to a good competitive experience. Most machines are balanced quite well, mainly through the max speed limit, so the choice of machine doesn't matter that much. At least on the average level. There is a very good reason why every cheap legend world record uses the Night Thunder. Even if most are balanced, one or two are gonna be better than the rest. It would take some time to learn, but at the higher levels it would just be this one machine, which is boring, but that's usually how competitive games work. Climax is much of the same, this comment sums it up perfectly. Climax is also well balanced, it has great tracks, but once again there are some machines that are too good, like the Crazy Bear, or my favorite, the Dragon Bird EX. Out of all those, I'd consider Climax to be the most viable one. It offers a big machine selection, most of which are fairly well balanced, good tracks and a certain element of skill with how you take turns and when to use your boost fire. For casual player versus player races it would be good but in the competitive setting it would end up with a meta that looks like this. I'm no stranger to games with broken metas or anything like that, I mean I've been playing competitive Overwatch since day one. <laughs> anyway, I just personally want the best for F0. But we aren't done yet. Now we have to talk about the two 3D games, starting with X. In my opinion, X is the better choice for a competitive F0 game. Why? It's less broken. Don't get me wrong, F0 X has broken mechanics that would absolutely get abused on a comp setting, but compared to GX, those are nothing. The big problem is once again the machines. There is an added difference with the jumper and slider settings, so which machines are the best depends on the setting. If you have seen any X speedruns that don't use a custom machine, you will see either the Bloodhawk on Knife Thunder on Slider and the Twin Narita on Jumper. I have included a link to a tier list by CGN in the description with some more explanation if you are interested. I know from my own experience that the difference between one machine to the next can be insane, so a true comp experience would be difficult. But still better than GX? 
Speaking of checks, I think it's time. As much as I love GX, it would just be the worst experience of them all. First, you have the machines. This is proud, balanced, not even a hint of balance there. Want to win, use the Fetch or go Blackpool, the rest is viable. But that is not all, we all know that GX is absolutely, unbelievably broken. I can get behind easy attack like quick turns or momentum throttling. Shift boosts are kinda in between what's broken and alright. There's a high risk involved, but the payoff is also huge. Some people can pull off many shift boosts in a row, and that speed is just insane. MTSing would be broken though. That alone is enough to give you a massive advantage. You don't even have to be exceptionally good at it. Snaking is broken as well. It would be abused by everyone willing to do it. No chance to win against someone who would even just use a snaking for short portions of a track. Of course it isn't complete without good old space flying and while it is mostly restricted to custom machines, there are a few normal ones that can do it. Not very well, but still better than normal gameplay. Good luck getting a sub one minute time on Odeal without space flying though. Some of these problems could easily be eliminated by something I've already talked about before. GX Unleashed. GX Unleashed does balancing very well, pretty much every machine is viable and competitive gameplay would work pretty well. If it weren't for the still existing broken mechanics. If it weren't for them, GX Unleashed would be a great game to play against Red and others, but just imagine if you wanted to hop into a race and like 17 other people just started snaking while I'm piercing. Not so much fun anymore. As much as I would love a multiplayer F-Zero game, I think F-Zero is just better suited for time attack ladders and maybe the occasional tournament with certain rules. I am aware of some online play going on, but if if it were 29 random people, I can assure you there is gonna be more than one person who will abuse broken things. That's sadly just the nature of competitive online gaming. <laughs> to make a good experience, you'd have to adjust all unbalanced machines and remove broken tech, and that would kinda ruin F0. It would be better to just leave it as it is. A true competitive F0 game would require, well, a new game. And we all know how that one is looking right about now, don't we? Yeah. I really don't want to spend too much time with LGPX now because, as I said before, there will be an in depth video once it releases, but it fits here, so let's talk about it. First, I am well aware there is no online play planned, and that is fine. It is an indie game, game development isn't easy, and we should all be very happy with what we are getting. But we can still pretend for a moment. LGPX would offer the best competitive experience out of all the games I've talked about today. Yes, we are just in a demo with 6 machines and 5 courses, but as it is now, it's good and it can only get better with more content. The machines seem mostly balanced with one small exception, but that's fine for now, there is more to come. There is advanced tech beyond normal gameplay, like utilizing the drill dive effectively or a version of GX's MTSing. There's also wall riding, but they aren't exactly broken. At least not as broken as GX's tech. Airship X would be a great online game, but as we know, it won't add on the play, which is perfectly fine, by the way. It's already a lot of fun, and it's just a demo, so I'm so excited for the full game. So I don't really have a conclusion I'm happy with. The 2D games would be better because of their balancing but suffer from being basic compared to the 3D games, and the 3D games suffer from being unbalanced to being absolutely broken. Yes, there are games out there which are massively broken and they are competitive, but I just want the best for F-Zero and in my eyes, the best thing is to leave it alone. Time Attack works, local multiplayer or tournaments are great, but online competitive with 29 random people? No, it would 
honestly not be as great as some may expect it to be. I know this was a stupid topic, but I just wanted to talk about it. It's a great idea and theory, but in practice it wouldn't end well. At least in my opinion, but I would love to be wrong in this situation. Tell me what you would think about that. Also, just as an update, I don't know if the next month's video is gonna be anything special. I usually like a lot of free time in December to work on stuff like this. This video has been rushed with the little free time I have, and as it gets closer to Christmas and New Year, my free time just goes away like it's nothing. I try my best, and I hope to see you all next month. Have nice holidays, happy new year, and of course, have a good one. Bye.